reactions and counter allegations continue to show the allegations of impropriety over emergency intervention funds as the vice president of his debunked allegations leveled by the House of Representatives Committee to get some clarity tonight. And the governorship candidate of the APC in Imo State, and it's a whole pools of them, says it's never arrested by the Special Presidential Investigation Panel for the recovery of public property over issues bordering on economic sabotage arising from alleged failure by his company to execute the contract of $12 million for the dredging of Calabar Channel. Thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Wakimbaloye in Lagos. Well, we continue our countdown as we give a close watch on the clock as the clock counting down to the 2019 general election. It is 93 days to the crucial polls, and we are following the main stories making the rounds for you. Let's begin tonight by giving you an update on the incident which happened at the Anambra State House of Assembly over a foid impeachment attempt by lawmakers. With some lawmakers announced insisting that the remover indeed happened. And some of the lawmakers insist that the impeachment attempt made on the Speaker, Honorable Rita Madhuagu, is valid. The legislatures, led by Honorable Inkem Uzwezi, who the group nominated as a fashion speaker, says... This is the fourth time the House is moving against the Speaker due to what they claim is a gross incompetence. Leadership we have under her wasn't really palatable. Uh, she's very incompetent, very lousy, uh, and all forms of misconduct associated with her leadership. So. The majority of members, without little, without little pressure, resolved to remove her finally yesterday. Well, let's get some more stories and a political roundup for you. As 2,045 voters' cards, which were awaiting distribution to their owners, have been stolen from its office in Okobo local government area of Akwaibom State. INEC National Commissioner Dr. Mustafa Leki, who disclosed this while briefing journalists at the INEC State Headquarters of the Commission in Uyo, the state capital, said the stealing of the PVCs may have been the work of some desperate politicians who want to win elections at all costs. The Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, has called on the National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Adam Zushamale, to resign his position as Chairman of the party on moral grounds. I don't think he has any moral grounds, even to continue being in politics, not to talk about being a Chairman of the party. Justice Bintan Yaku of the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has ordered Senator Einaya Abaribe and two other persons who stood as shorties for Inamdikanu, the self-acclaimed leader of indigenous peoples of Biafra, to deposit 300 million Naira bill bond into the court account. The APC governorship aspirant in Imo State, Mr. Oche Wosu, has asked President Muhammad Buhari to call the party chairman Adam Zushamali to order over issues he describes as lack of internal democracy. Mr. Wosu, who was returning to the state after a stakeholders' meeting in Abuja, arrived to the chairs of party supporters in Oweri. Mr. Wosu is confident of clinching the ticket of the party, despite what he describes as momentary delay in the process of justice. Let me assure you that I, Ubuntu Wosu, you are mandated to stay with me. 